to firstly welcome everybody, all the friends of the Street family, thank you so much for coming. And um, you'll be pleased to know, very pleased, particularly you Jane, that I'll only be speaking for 59 more seconds. On behalf of the Street family, we'd like to thank you for making time to join with us today and uh, to celebrate Leanne reaching her first half century. <laughs> And I can see that you'll have very many companions in the near future. <laughs> um, our, our, friends have from, our friends have travelled from near and far, from, from south of the border, from, from Brisbane, from North Queensland, and even further north to the north east, Hong Kong. So we thank you all for doing that. And before Leanne says a few words, and Olivia, I'm going to ask Julie Winkler, who's been a, who's been a friend of, of um, the family and Leanne in particular for nearly 40% of Leanne's life. So we work out. Um, Julie and Rod, Julie and, Julie and Rod and her, her, uh, their son Robbie have travelled all the way from Hong Kong to be here. And thank you so much, Julie. Uh, Julie, the skills Julie possesses aren't just the fact that she's a formidable lawyer <laughs> and works for a very famous mogul who shall remain nameless. But those skills are only unmatched by her very kindness and great friendship. Oh. So we thank you. Well, I'm very humbled and very honoured to have been asked by Damien to say a few words on behalf of everybody who's here this evening to talk about our beautiful, wonderful, unique Leanne. Oh. <laughs> I need to be careful that I don't cry. I certainly don't want to make you cry. Because tonight, is a, because tonight is a night of celebration. It's a night of friendships. It's a night of having just a wonderful time and reconnecting, particularly for us, coming back here after being away for five years. And there is no way that my husband, Rod, and my children would have missed tonight to celebrate such an important event with Leanne and Damien and their beautiful family. I think tonight's been amazing. We've had great music, we've had great food, great wine, and such wonderful reconnections of friendships that have been forged over such a long time. I remember the day that I first met Leanne and many others who were here uh, tonight. Our girls were four, four years old, and they're all here tonight. <laughs> and uh, I remember being in that classroom when we sort of this whole exciting journey was starting at St Margaret's School back uh, many years ago. And looking at the parents across the room and thinking, oh, you know, should we walk up and say hello? And from that very day we did, and the friendships have just got stronger and stronger. And then other families joined the school as the journey continued, and we made wonderful friendships every year, year upon year. And, and I just reflect on that and think just how wonderful is the connections that happen through our children, you know, not just through our, our work, and through people we meet, but just through our children and watching them grow, nurturing children to become the wonderful young adults that they are today. And Leanne is a great nurturer. You know, she's raised a wonderful family, her and Damien. The children are just an absolute credit to you. And I think when you hit 50, it's such a big milestone when you look back and think, wow, what have I achieved? And still, what is to come? And that's the thing to think about. What is to come? There is so much. I remember my own 50th birthday party. And uh, it was in, in Taramara in Sydney before we moved to Queensland, uh, to um, Hong Kong. And I kept saying to Rod, my husband, oh, I just wish Leanne was here. You know, she's one of my closest friends and she's not here. She's in Brisbane and I'm in Sydney. What a shame. Next minute, the car pulls up. Leanne's lying down on the floor of the car. I didn't know she was there. She jumps out. Surprise! I'm here! <laughs> she travelled from Brisbane to come to my 50th and I was just so touched. We both cried for like 10 minutes because it was... No way I would have missed being here to celebrate this wonderful milestone with you. So I think we all should um, hold, uh, charge our glasses and say a toast. Thank you. A toast to the wonderful, the unique, the most beautiful friend that I have. Well, I want to thank everybody so much for coming. And
and mom, happy birthday. Um, we may have the ups and downs, like we did this afternoon. <laughs> bit of a pain sometimes, I know we all can, Seven, Sam and I, but we love you and we appreciate you even though we don't say it very often, but happy birthday and I love you so much and we all do. Aww. It's your turn. Aww. Come on. <laughs> right. Gee. <laughs> You can Sebastian, should I say a few words? No. <laughs> and darling, you know, be comfortable there. Firstly, I would like to thank you all for being here to celebrate my milestone. Um, and I was reflecting during the week just about turning 50 and what that meant. Um, and a few people said, I'm sorry, you're turning 50. And I think the biggest thing for me is all of you beautiful, beautiful people and all your lovely faces and friends and friends I've known for a long time, really long time. There's a few here that have known me since I was really little and, um, um, and you know who you are, wherever you are, where are you, Wendy, Terry, um, you've known me nearly my whole life um, and others I've met through our kids, as Julie said, I think nearly all of you are probably met through our kids at some point. Um, and I just think whether I've known you for a long time or a short time, you're all really special to me. And I think you've added to my journey and friends are really important. And that for me is probably my lesson in turning 50, is the people. And I would like to thank you all for bringing all your love and specialness to me because without all of you, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I would like to thank my darling husband. <laughs> I love you, darling. Thank you. Oh. We've been through a lot. You've been amazing. <laughs> you put up with me. Um, and I love you and I thank you and your amazing dad and hubby and we just love you. It's still for another 50. It is. <laughs> and I'd like to thank that lovely lady over there in the pink dress. My beautiful mum. And she's standing there with my sister and my brother, who are just like my rocks as well. And mum, you have made me into the good. <laughs> you have been an inspiration. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And you know, life's been tough the last few years. And you have shown me just how to be strong and to, you know, keep going. And it's been tough. But without your love and friendships and family and just support, and you are a treasure, Mum. And I love you so much. And I want to thank you for, well, you know, treating me. But. <laughs> Teaching me a lot of the life lessons along the way. You know, some have been hard, some have been, and we've walked the journey together. And you've been there from day one. And I want to thank you, Mum, just and Dad. And I'd like to toast Dad because he's not here, and um, he was really sad today. But anyway, we'll toast Ken <laughs> and my lovely sister Cindy. Thanks, honey, for coming. And we don't see you a lot, but I love you, and you know how special you are. And that gorgeous man there. Who surprised me, my brother? Yes. Well, he's just a champion and he is just the most amazing brother any girl could ask for. And I love you and I thank you for all that you do. And you, I don't see you a lot, I see you once a year. But I love you and I want to thank you for coming all the way and surprising me. And I'd like to thank Trina and Simon for amazing decorations and for making this special and, and for all your effort and love and care and you've gone above and beyond, I know you have, and I want to just say it's not unnoticed and I really want to thank you both because it, I really appreciate it. The band, Chris, doing photos and all you other, I don't know, I mean all of you are just so lovely and I just want to thank you for coming and sharing. My boys, look at them, Sebastian! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Thanks. I want to thank my children. Um, I love you. And I want you to be really fine, upstanding, just beautiful boys and daughter. And I just love you all. And I just want you to know that you have a whole room of people that love you because of me. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen. And how about a big hand once again for the birthday lady? Give it up, give it up. So we're gonna play one more set for you guys. And so uh, feel free to, to dance and you know, shake, shake your bits.